Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Nightly Sports Call. Give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. We're going to be talking about Martavis Bryant. He is basically benched. Well, not basically. He is benched for Sunday's game against the Lions for what he did on social media this weekend. Uh, Mike Tomlin had a discussion with him today. Bench for this Sunday. Also demoted the scout team this week. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, Brian had a lot of interesting things to say in his conversation with the media after practice today. He said, first of all, that he doesn't regret what he did. Um, he also basically said he didn't come out and said he said he he deferred all his questions to his agent um, saying that you know if you have a question about why I'm unhappy call my agent or call Mike Tomlin Um, I don't feel like he really was apologetic Um, it it sounds like that he's still kind of taking this stance Um, I don't know if things will change. I don't think things will change with him. I I think that this is going to be drama throughout the season, potentially could cause the Steelers harm, Uh, could be a major distraction coming up later in the year. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just don't see it that way. I feel like um, he's not going to play this week. It's going to even make him more unhappy. Then the bye week comes, and who knows what the plan is for him and Mike Tomlin plan on doing during the bye week maybe they're going to practice them a little bit Um, and then you're playing the Colts if if I'm the coach um, they're not trading him but if I'm the coach I bench him for this game then you have the bye week then you're playing the Colts I bench him for that game and then see where we are right then Um, at that point it might be it might be too late it might be too late for Bryant who might just be so unhappy and so disgruntled who knows what he's going to do this could be another one of those uh, LeGarrette Blunt issues uh, but the Steelers are being patient with them said they're not going to trade them they have no plans to trade them I know that I think the NFL Network was out there speculating that they're not playing them this week potentially trying to trade them but don't see that's the issue I don't think that's the issue at all I mean Tomlin came out how many times and said that they're not trading them uh, the Steelers organization came out and said they're not trading them. they have enough uh, you know enough invested into him waited a whole year helped him through this and dealing with everything. He is a guy that can help the Steelers. He just doesn't understand. He's a me player. He's a selfish player. And this is uh, this whole thing is really showing what kind of player he is. He's not for the team. At least he's not making it out to be in that way unless, um, you know, maybe he thinks he is. But, you know, he's, he, he's out for number one. He's out for himself. Um, you know, he wants to make plays. He wants to score touchdowns, and granted, he can do it, but he wants to do it because he wants to make more money on his next contract, and that's what basically this is all about. This is a move from him and his agent uh, because they're trying to maneuver into getting a big-time contract. Well, this guy is out all of last year. He's one, um, one failed drug test away from being suspended forever in the NFL. Um, so I, I don't know if he really has a leg to stand on. And now if the Steelers keep benching him, not playing him, what's he going to do then? I know the Steelers potentially are hurting themselves by doing this because, I mean, he is their second best wide receiver. Maybe the third now what Juju Smith has been doing. Um, but this week is given Justin Hunter now a huge opportunity to show what he can do. And, you know, I kind of hope he has a big game, and I hope that this turns into him versus Justin, Justin Hunter versus Martavis Bryant and see what the Steelers do. Um, it can only make the guys better, but, you know, right now you're seeing it a, a couple times now. Um, you've seen it throughout the year that the Steelers don't have enough balls to go around. Everyone wants to ball. Everyone wants to be a playmaker, and I get that. I understand why Le'Veon Bell wants to be it. Um, he's He's looking for a big-time contract. I understand why Martavis Bryant wants to do it because he did it a couple years ago and he wants to prove himself again because he's in line for a big contract after next year. Um, Antonio Brown got his, but he, he's a big-time playmaker. Antonio Brown is the suit and Martavis Bryant is the tie. Um, Deion Sanders said something like that today. So it, it, that's where we are with this team right now. And um, Martavis Bryant won't be playing this week. We'll be running scout team, helping the Steelers. Let's see if he can become a team player. I mean, he says he is a team player, but it doesn't. He, his actions aren't showing that. 
So I'd like to hear your opinions. I kind of like what Mike Tomlin did. I think there needs to be some discipline. Um, you know, there, there needs to be some repercussions. Um, the Steelers need to stay off social media, especially him. He, plan, he says he plans to, but he needs to stay off social media because it, it's only getting him into trouble right now. And, um, you know, I, I would keep this benching going um, through the, the Colts game and then see where you are and see where his attitude is at that point. All right, give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600. We're talking about the Martavis Bryant drama. Um, Juju Smith got his bike back. We helped in that. Um, we helped in that whole outcome. So give me a call if you want to talk about Juju's bike. But um, also, Juju Smith practice. It doesn't look like a concussion's going to hold him back. Um, so that'll be good for the Steelers. That was the one thing that I was kind of worried about, that if he can't play, now you're down basically two of your best receivers uh, for this game in Detroit. And I don't think the Steelers want that. But um, call me back. Call me up. 412-575-2600, or you can send me a tweet. Average Walsh, back in a couple minutes.